Hey YouTube, welcome back to Project Zomboid and what could be one of the final days of our good friend here Josh Adams. For nearly two months he's lived, ooh, first aid. And well, he's in a very, very bad way and worst of all is he's hungry as hell. But, at the end of the last episode we went to look at our base and found that it was surrounded. So, we've got problems. So today we are just going to work on getting back, either getting back into our base or dying. <laughs> and I pretty much know what the answer is probably going to end up being. Let's see, how much have I got on this? Um, I have a shotgun. So yeah, the thing is, I'm thinking shotgun might be the best bet. Yeah, well, we're gonna go for it. You know, grab the shotgun, and if I have to, I'll use the shotgun to take care of the zombies. If only I could get them out of my bloody inventory a bit quicker that would be very handy oh hang on wait I can do it while walking can I do it while walking fast oh yes I can so we can have a bit of a somber episode here where uh, we contemplate the fact that our character here could be dying he ain't done too. Oh, that's the wrong button. He ain't done too bad. He's leveled up carpentry quite a bit. I need the book. Next book. Okay, here's the plan. Gonna head into the forest and try and use that way to get close enough to my base. Now I have to move slowly because I've got a broken leg, which is the other thing that happened last episode, which was quite frustrating. Okay, it doesn't appear like there's any hidden in the forest, which is good. Okay. Oh! Okay, you nearly snuck up on me. Okay. Okay, you gotta try and push through the forest now. Shit, okay, okay. Got no choice. Come on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm in. Okay. If I eat this tin tomatoes, I should. Theory, be okay. And I understand you guys might not be able to see this because you, when I edit the video, I noticed a lot of the time that the nighttime scenes aren't actually the best. Oh, wait, that said harvest. Can I get, oh, I can get some cabbages. Oh, that's good. Okay, can I harvest these? No. What about these end ones? Yes. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Far another farming level. That's awesome. Okay. So I actually have some cabbages in there. It's one thing, I, one feature that it's a bit uh, annoying, but I can understand why they added it to the game. Is the um, the old when you uh, when you get water from the barrels in there, it's the um, nasty water. What the hell? Why did I just get a two to come up in the middle, end of my screen? What was that? Why were there two there? Alright, that's freaky. Alright, we're gonna light. Uh, we're gonna add carpentry for intermediates. And then we're going to light, uh, light advanced farming. Alright. Now I should be able to water. Oh, 
now. Uh, keep filling up my uh, empty bowls. Uh, fill cooker pot. There we go. Uh, how are we doing health wise? Bandages are still clean. How do I know when I can actually? I suppose actually I'll just see in the weight and the speed I move really. But say, how do I know when I'm capable of uh, walking again? But I, yeah, I suppose I just see when it happens. Okay, so we will pour in twenty water and then I can make a soup. Good cook and no one likes a oh god I nearly walked into the fire no one likes a cooked ca uh, a burnt cabbage soup perfect okay and just because I can use it now and there's still a fire going I'll just uh First cook and pop back on there. Okay, so. Now, okay, we've got things going. Everything is cooking. So, what I'll do now is I just need another water bowl. And let's go see if the zombies are building up outside my base at the moment. And be very careful not to fall me up, fall off. One there. That is all I can see. Cool. That's handy. Right. Survived another day. So what I'm going to do is I need to get my sleep cycle back to normal. So I'm just going to sleep for a couple of hours. Get rid of that tiredness. Right now, originally the re reason I went out uh, to forage last episode was because I wanted to try and f make some axes. Now I've got the stone. I've got chip stone, and I've got eight stones. Now I want to try a experiment, so I just want to grab this stuff here. Now getting chips cut stone is not easy. Oh, cooking I'm doing quite well. Forging not so good. Right, so as I was saying, cooking um ah forging ain't that easy. So finding these chip stones, what you need to make the axes, is quite difficult. How? However, I just wanted to try a quick experiment and see if I can use this hammer, can I make, no, I can only make a stone hammer. I cannot use the hammer to break the stone. So, that stone is actually pretty useless at the moment. But what I can do is I can make a stone axe uh, using the ripped sheets. I got wide there when I saw the word twine. So let's make, try making one of those. Okay, so we've got a raw axe in there, so that's pretty good. I can chop down trees a bit more efficiently. Well, I say efficiently, they're not actually better than the actual axe, but is usable. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop that. And the reason being is because I'm about to go back outside again. And I want to eliminate any zombies that are quite close to my base. But I can't do that being loud, so I can't use the shotgun. 
So this is going to be quite dangerous, especially considering the fact I just stepped outside without actually equipping a weapon, which was very stupid. Now, not seeing anyone any zombies and there were zombies here not long ago so question of the hour where's all the zombies gone see this always worries me when you wake up you can hear them but you can't see them because that usually means they've gone into these bloody forests which means that when i start chopping ah there you go like him him oh you Oh god, okay, 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 they're coming, 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 At least the, uh, yeah, at least it's only a scratch now. It's no longer actually um, bleeding. That's good. That weren't, that weren't good. Right, I'll be right back. Why have I just got shot? Oh, okay. Because I see one, two, three, four zombies. And there's probably more by us, isn't it? Yep, look, another one. So they are gathering outside the base. She's gonna make getting out of here very difficult. So I'm gonna actually try something. I doubt this actually worked because I think this is something that this game actually has avoided. Is I wonder if I can. No, okay, I can't hit through a wall. What have I put left here? I've left loads of stuff here. Anything that can actually never be of use. Tree branches! Ah! That could be handy if I want to make more axes, if I can ever find any. Problem is, I can't forage in my base. I am stuck. I literally am actually stuck at the moment. Like I say, there are zombies right there. Now, there is something I can attempt here, but this might end up causing problems. But you know what? Screw it. We're going to give it a go. Okay. What I'm about to attempt is a hit or miss operation. This is either going to get rid of these zombies, or it is going to be the death of me. Okay. There is no going back after this. I do this and I die. I'm dead. Wait, right, that's cheating. No. Alright. Wait. Wait a minute. No. They can't break walls. No game. Hang on, I'm curious about something. <gasps> Look, them zombies are going away. Sit. Walk off. Please walk off. Are you two going to join them? Please. Ah, uh, hang on. Okay, there... Oh, okay, yeah, there is still some zombies here. See, why are they trying to break down there? That's what I don't understand. Okay. I've waited all night, and these zombies have not broke anything. Damn. Go to bed. 
Stupid zombies can't break anything down. I'd eat a mushroom soup. I'm low on food as well. Look at that. I need... Oh. I need this bloody leg to heal. Sadly, I think it's like real life where it ta it'll take a long time for my leg to actually heal up. Right. Let's go have a look at the situation. I might be able to do this silently. Okay, oh no, wait, one. Okay, we're gonna. That's it. Yeah. That's it, okay. Is that it? <laughs> Are you nervous? Is that it? Okay, very quietly. Okay, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to grab that raw axe. Because what I want to do is I want to test the raw axe out on a tree. Uh, if I do remember rightly, I don't think these are actually really that great. I think they actually chop down one tree and then that's it. They break. They have the same icon as a normal axe. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this. Why can't I hit this tree? Okay, you're not hitting this tree. Why are you not hitting this tree? Are you not a tree? You must not be a tree. Okay, and there we go. Come on. Ah. Just quickly. Survey check. Good, okay. And how much that... That's... Not bad. Okay, they must have um, improved this. Because I swear it used to chop down one tree. Alright, let's... Keep working. See it. I want to clear it so I can see. I want to see my base. Like all the way around. Come on, choppy choppy. Come on, where are you? Nope. God damn it. There it go. It's broke. Okay, so. Question is, can I repair that with normal stuff? Okay, one last experiment before I end this episode. At least we're a bit clearer now. And next episode, I'm going to have to go on a serious 
food hunt. In fact, to be honest, I'm actually thinking I'm going to raid the other base. That might be next episode. I might have to raid the other base. Right. First, can I... Can you repair them? See, it always gives you the repair option on the others. I don't actually think you can repair the actual axes. So you know what, let's put that in the junk pile. Right, so that's going to be it for this episode. Let's check on the stuff. Yep, okay, you're going alright. Can I harvest you yet? Oh yes, I can. Okay, we've got some more cabbage. I will live off these three bits of cabbage for the next couple of days. And while it's quiet, I might actually go out and chop some more and finish up these two axes. But that is going to be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I, very, very weird episode. Basically, lots of stuff happening, basically. This place, I'm close to death. This leg needs to heal. I need to go find out how long it takes the leg to heal. But yeah, that's going to be it. Oh, I hear movement. Oh, I hear movement quickly. Let's quickly go check. If there's movement. Zombies might be returning, so I might have a problem. No, I don't see any. Alright, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you everyone for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye.